at Tree Frog Gallery with artist Heather Goll. Heather, how long have you had the gallery? Oh, we've had the gallery. We re reopened it Easter last year on Easter Saturday, so a bit over a year. Yep. It has been a gallery for over 12 years, but we've reshaped it and rejuvenated it. So we have lots of different things happening in the gallery. Oh, fabulous. And yeah. you're an artist yourself? Yeah, you? I'm an artist as well. I've been a working artist, had my first exhibition solo uh, in 1985. So, yeah. Um, yeah, and I've been painting consistently since then, as well as illustrating children's books. Basically, I've set this uh, gallery up. It's a, it's a gallery that I'm creating as a real arts hub for all genres of the arts. So I've had some musical events here as well. I actually, you know, we've had an opera singer, we've had violinists, we've um, had local choirs that perform here, um, and we've had book launches, we've had a film screening, we have art classes and um, workshops. In I've got a designated uh, studio area for workshops. Oh, fabulous. And I also have a little coffee bar where people coffee and scone, oh, great. so it's quite a versatile space. Yeah. We have rotating monthly exhibitions, so things are changing all the time as well. And How do you become an artist? Isn't it tough? It is tough. <laughs> <laughs> you always need your second job, <laughs> most artists, but it's, um, my husband says it's beyond my control, so I, I must paint. Most artists are compelled to make art, you know, it's part of them, yeah. and so if you're not doing it, you're not really um, existing. So, um, so you just got to do it. You got to yeah. do it. So, so what kind of art are you compelled to do? Um, I'm most inspired by the environment, the natural world. I'm really fascinated with the the natural design in the in the environment, and um, yeah, in close up, and also the wide expanse of the landscape. I, I just really connect with that. I'm a bush girl. I grew up in the bush and so I've just always been connected with nature and wildlife and um, yeah I guess that's what makes me tick. <laughs> so, What are you painting at the moment? Um, well you'll see in the gallery on the back wall actually I have a small obsession with um, the Channel Country um, beyond Birdsville um, out towards Lake Eyre at the moment and um, yeah I've been doing some wide open landscape contemporary mixed media pieces yeah. on that theme. Yeah. Um, and what about the Sunshine Coast? Does, does the Sunshine Coast inspire you? Oh, the hinterland especially. Yeah. I, I'm, not a, I'm not a beach bum but um, yeah I love the I love the rainforest in this area, you know, it's a, all in it. It grew lots of remnant rainforest in, um, before the logging came in. This is an absolute arts hub, the hinterland. We have so many talented artists living up here, and so yeah, the the arts trail hopefully will increase, you know, visitation to the area so that people can really see what is here. I mean. I particularly focus on local art in my gallery, so on the main floor I have um, work by a lot of local artists. Um, I've probably got 150 artists on my books here at what, the gallery. What would be your um, advice on how to pick a, a good piece? Uh, my best advice is you buy artwork that talks to you. It's a very personal thing. Someone else can't tell you what you like or you don't like. Um, I always tell people to respond to artwork, not react. Um, let it talk to you and think about um, what the artist is trying to say and what that painting says to you. Um, we all connect in different ways, so you can't... It's a very personal thing. 